I can't feel my face. I can't, I can't move my mouth. Hi. <laughs> what is my mouth? Hello everybody, um, how are you doing during these um, strange, complicated, trying times? I saw a meme the other day that said, I feel like I'm in one of those movies where you live the same day over and over again until you get it right. And I think that's a pretty accurate description of how I feel during this global pandemic. Before we get any further into the video, there's just something that I wanted to address. I received my first hate comment and I've been coping with that and it's been pretty hard. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. But haters are my motivators and you, know, you probably won't be able to take me seriously with this mask on but I am 50% Italian so it's in my blood to talk a lot and that's all I gotta say. As you know by the title, today's video is a get ready with me and you're probably thinking, why are you getting ready when you're not supposed to leave your house? And let me tell you something, I need some sense of normalcy in my life in order to stay sane. Getting ready in the morning is exactly what I need to make sure that I don't go completely AWOL. That being said, today I will be getting ready for my class on Zoom. Um, normally I keep my camera off, but today's a special occasion. I will be putting my camera on because I won't look like shit. The theme for today's class is pajama day, so I am in my finest night wear. <laughs> So, since I babble too much, I was thinking maybe I should just do this whole video in silence. I thought about it, but I think I'm just going to switch to a voiceover. So yeah, I'm gonna take this off and then we're gonna get into the video. So I'm starting off here with this metal torture device, otherwise known as an eyelash curler. It's supposed to give your lashes a little bit of a lift, and the goal here is to really do it until you make yourself cry, because why not? And then I'm just gonna go in and grab these um, facial drops. Basically, I'm just gonna drop this all over my face. I've seen all the beauty gurus do it. And I don't know, um, I saw this on TikTok, apparently you're supposed to massage your face for 4-5 to five minutes after putting on an oil, and it's supposed to do something, but basically I just look like a dumb idiot, so I'm gonna skip over this part. Okay, so now that I've given myself rosacea, I'm gonna go in and find my hydrating Maybelline primer. Here's me trying to attempt to focus the camera, but I'm a dumb bitch, so... And then you're just gonna take an excessive amount and squeeze it into your hand, rub it together, and put it all over your face. Okay, so now I'm going in with my loose setting powder. I use the NYX mineral one. Put some on my brush, tap it in, and just lightly set in that stuff that I just put on. So now I'm going in with the setting spray by Revlon. Usually I use the MAC um, setting spray, but I don't have that and I don't have money. So the drugstore version will have to do. And I got it in my mouth. Now you're gonna just kind of fan yourself off, you know, do a little Madonna Vogue while you're at it. Break your wrist, it's fine. We don't need those. This stuff is like a mixture between a primer, a foundation, and a BB cream. And this is what I put on instead of foundation. So I just kind of dot this all over my face. And what's good about it is it's very illuminating. So if you want to go for that dewy, glowing skin, this is perfect for that. All right, now we're going in with the True Blend Undercover Concealer. This, to me, is the best shape tape dupe. And I'm just dotting over my imperfections, you know, those designer bags under my eyes. Now I'm gonna grab my Mario Badesco spray and I'm gonna put it all over my beauty blender and I am just going to blend that into my face. Hey guys, do you remember when that egg got like so many likes on Instagram? <laughs> then I'm setting the concealer underneath my eyes. And then we're gonna have a little dance party, you know, hit that whoa. So now I'm going in with my Anastasia brow pencil and I'm just going to lightly fill in those brows. 
Once those brows look a little bit fuller, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and just run that over those bad boys. Very aggressively for some reason, not really sure why. I don't know who hurt me. This will definitely not focus, but I'm going in with the Glossier, Glossier? question mark lid star basically this is good if you just want to put on a little bit of color onto your eyes but don't want it to be drastic or dramatic it just you know adds a little spice to those lids so i used to be a big contour girl like cheekbones jawline nose snatched kim k vibes but lately i've been kind of just focusing more on that natural sun-kissed look so I'm going in with a Fit Me foundation stick that is darker than my skin tone, and I'm using that as a cream contour stick. Works pretty well, life hack. So you're really gonna spend some time blending that out. And then when I'm done, I am taking this blush stick from ColourPop, which I really enjoy, and I'm just gonna stack that on the apples of my cheeks. And I'm sorry, but I look really creepy while I'm doing this, and I'm so sorry that you have to witness it. It looks really weird before you blend it out. You kind of look like you got a really bad uneven sunburn, but when we're done, we're going to have nice rosy cheeks. So I'm going to take my setting spray and coat my face once again. Now my ColourPop Super Shock Flexitarian Shade Highlighter is coming back in for her appearance. She's beautiful, and I'm going to use this to make me glow even more. As if I'm not glowing enough, I want to be like Edward Cullen. Okay, now it's time for mascara. I usually use the Roller Lash by Benefit, and I'll pair it with another mascara because one is never good enough for me. So I'm also using the ColourPop BFF mascara. So the last step is the lips, and I went out and decided to purchase a small tube of the Too Faced Lip Injections Lip Plumper Gloss. And this stuff is crazy, it literally makes your lips like buzz and go numb and it plumps them up nice and big like if you had lip injections. When I'm done, I'm just gonna take my hair out of my messy bun and kind of give my hair a nice tussle. I decided I wanted to go for that bedhead look, so I decided to take a texturizing spray and just kind of brush it through. So this is the final look for my Zoom class. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm even saying this. It sounds so weird. Basically, I just do this so that I can kind of feel better about myself, like I'm not a bum all day. Alright, past Christy now. Take it away. Alright, so that was my get ready with me for my Zoom conference, the Crib University Zoom class edition. I hope during this time that you're staying busy, I more than anyone else know how difficult it can be to be locked inside of your house. The more everybody continues to stay in their house, the sooner we will be able to return to all normal activity. I hope that you and your family and your friends are all staying safe and healthy and I wanted to give a shout out to all of the doctors and nurses out there who are putting their lives on the line every day caring for people with COVID-19. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. Uh, uh.